The Senator from South Carolina. Thank you, Mr. President. Today, Mr. President, we are shaken and encouraged. My prayers remain with my friend Steve Scalise and his family, as well as Zach Barth, the congressional staffer, Matt Micah, who was volunteering at the baseball field, and the two brave police officers, Crystal Greiner and David Bailey. Mr. President, I've played on the Republican baseball team. I've practiced on that field, and I'm sure that no one woke up this morning imagining that this tragedy was possible. Not a single player who woke up this morning who wanted to make sure that they invested their time and their energy in such a way to help nonprofits around the area benefit from drawing a crowd together to watch Republicans and Democrats play baseball for the express and specific benefit of helping those who cannot help themselves. Mr. President, I'm also encouraged today. I'm encouraged specifically by law enforcement and more specific, the Capitol Police, who because of their swift action saved lives this morning at the baseball stadium. Thank you to men and women who put on the uniform to keep others safe. And as we can tell by the injuries of Crystal and David, put themselves in harm's way. I'm also encouraged that in the midst of this crisis, we have seen our country come together. We have seen this body come together. At noon today, we had a prayer vigil led by Senator Coons, a Democrat, Senator Langford, a Republican. We are no longer in the midst of a crisis Black Americans and white Americans or liberal Americans or conservative Americans, Republicans or Democrats. We aren't even swayed by the current environment of sensationalism. No, sir. We are simply Americans, blessed by God to be a part of the American family. The polarization that pulls on the fabric of this great country is very, very dangerous. Too often, we find ourselves splitting into smaller factions. We stop listening to others' points of view. We react immediately with hostility, doubting the very intentions of folks who do not agree with your perspective. This, Mr. President, is very dangerous for our future. We seem to have forgotten how to disagree without being disagreeable. And today's shooting is one of the manifestations of that. You know, this weekend marks two years since the massacre at Mother Emanuel Church in Charleston, South Carolina, my home where a racist who wanted to start a race war decided that he could take advantage of the cracks in our foundation, that he could drive to Charleston, South Carolina and take advantage of those cracks. But the families of the victims, understanding and appreciating the notion of Matthew 544, loving those who seemed to be your enemies. They did not allow their grief and their anger to overpower their senses. They believed in the power of love. They believed that love is more powerful than hate. They believed in each other. And because of their conviction, uh, my city and my state stood together black South Carolinians and white South Carolinians, and said to the world, not in my place, not my city, and not my state, and not my houses of worship. We stood together. 
We did not allow this spirit of oppression and division to separate us. We allowed the power of love to unite us. And so, Mr. President, whether it's race or politics, whether it's gender or any other number of ways that we could be divided, we have to. I implore all of us to remember that we are first Americans. And as I think back to the funerals, to the vigils, I think of my good friend from Hawaii. She's not a Christian, she's of another faith. She's not a Republican, she's a Democrat. But she flew down to South Carolina only a couple of days after the massacre. Because two of her friends, myself and Trey Gowdy, were attending the funerals, attending the first major events. She wanted to worship with us. She wanted to be there with us. This is a classic example of when and how our nation pulls together, setting aside our differences. We must work together, ensuring opportunity for all, not profiting from the division in this nation, not looking for ways to get more clicks on our pages. And why is that? Well, Mr. President, it's simple. Because America is stronger than this. America is better than this. We are the American family and we must let love be the light to show us the way. Thank you, Mr. President, and I 